Hi Kim, thanks for your question. Um, if we are going to simplify this expression, we're going to start by factoring the top and the bottom, and hopefully something will cancel out in the end. Let's go ahead and start by factoring out the top. Um, with the top, we can just factor out a monomial. It looks like all of these terms have a 3 and an x in common. So let's go ahead and factor out a 3x, and what we are left with on the inside will be x squared plus... 2x plus 4. Factoring the bottom, um, we're going to use a special factoring technique that's for factoring the difference of cubes. So if we have two numbers that are cubed and we're subtracting one from the other one, then we can factor that using this form here. a cubed minus b cubed is a times b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. This sign in your little factor is always going to be the same as the sign up here, and this sign in your big factor here is always going to be the opposite sign of what's up here. So if this were a plus, this would be a plus and this would be a minus. This over here is always going to be a plus no matter what you have going on. So let's figure out what our a and b are for this problem. Our a will be the cube root of x cubed, or just x. Our b will be the cube root of 8, which is 2. So our a is x and our b is 2. Let's apply that to the formula. Our little, little factor is um, x minus 2. And our big factor will be a squared, or x squared, plus ab, 2x, plus b squared, 4. So we are in luck. We get a big factor that cancels out, and we are left with 3x over x minus 2. And that is your final answer for this question. Thanks again for your question, Kim, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.